In a client-server network, each end user's computer is individually connected to dedicated server computers. Each user can see the server, but only the server can see all the users. Files, applications, and other resources that are to be shared are stored on the server or on hardware that is mapped to the server. A network administrator determines what files, applications, hardware, and other resources are to be shared and sets up pathways for accessing information and authorizations for end users. To accommodate a large number of end users, additional communications hardware, like bridges, routers, and switches may be used, as well as faster protocols, like 100 Base-T Fast Ethernet, FDDI, Token Ring, and ATM. To make the networks more productive, more sophisticated collaboration software, like Lotus Notes or Microsoft Exchange, may be deployed. The client-server architecture typically is used for connecting 10 or more users.